we were having a problem with our snare drum. We had been fighting it for weeks, probably months, and didn't really like how it sounded, especially on the live stream. So we called up our local drum guy. His name's Matt. He um, founded a place called Drum World. He's been doing this for 30 years. He's really a drum genius. We hope to get him on the channel sometime soon. But we thought we needed a new snare. So we asked him to bring like three or four snares for us to try to see if we could find the one that sounded best in this room. Instead, he showed up to give us a lecture on why we didn't need different equipment, but that we needed to use what we have better. And so he got behind the drum kit and he showed us a few things. And so in this video, I want to show you how you can make your snare sound better without spending any money. So we're going to start with mic placement. And this one shocked me. I was surprised whenever he told me that the mic should be pointed almost straight down on the snare because everywhere else I've learned that the mic should be at about a 45 degree angle pointed towards the center of the drum. He came here, he pointed the mic straight down and then we took a listen to the difference and it made a difference and it sounds better straight down. And he told us the reason that they normally pointed at a 45 degree angle is to keep the drummer from hitting the mic. Um, that was the main reason they've done that all these years. So if you can point it straight down and still keep your drummer from hitting the mic, then you're gonna get a better sound that way. Uh, the best way that I can show you how it sounds different is to let you hear it. So the sounds you're about to hear have no audio processing. I turned off EQ, compression, and gating just so you can hear the natural snare sound. So as you should have heard, or what I heard about the difference is that when it's pointed straight down, it's a much cleaner sound. You don't pick up as much of the ugly undertones. And whenever you're pointing at a 45 degree angle, you kind of pick up more, more mud and more mess um, in the drum. One thing that I love about it pointed straight down is it seems to pick up the snappiness of the snares more uh, than the other way around. You almost don't even need the mic underneath anymore. It's interesting. So the other thing that he showed us that costs no money to make your snare sound better is to hit the drum in the right place. He took a look at our snare drum and saw that these little marks are all over the place. And he said they should only be in the center of the drum because if you're not hitting in the right dead center of the snare drum, you're gonna get all kinds of undertones that you do not want. So let me show you the difference of that. All right, so obviously with no dampening on the drum, you can really hear the difference that it made hitting in the center of the drum versus towards the edge of the drum. So just making that one change, making sure that your drummer is hitting right in the dead center is gonna make a huge difference in how your snare drum sounds. All right, so we'll give you a bonus tip. This one does cost a little bit of money, but it might be worth it. Um, he gave us this dampening device here called a big fat snare drum. This thing costs about 35 bucks, but we wanted that short, dry snare sound, not so much of the overtone of the snare. So this is the way that you get that. And so I'll show you the difference with and without it. All right, so like I said earlier, what you were hearing all this time was the snare without any EQ compression or gating. And so now I'm gonna turn on all of that so that you can hear the difference between just that raw sound and then what it sounds like processed. And now everything that I'm doing with EQ compression gating is a very simple, streamlined approach. There's nothing crazy going on, just a few things to make it sound better and to sound more controlled. And if you're interested in learning how I do all of that, how I EQ a drum, how I compress a drum, how I gate a drum, just go to churchsoundmadesimple.com and get access to my course, or you can use the link in the description. So there you go, just a few simple things you can do to make your snare drum sound better. And now go get access to Church Sound Made Simple by using the link in the description so that you can get EQ compression and all that squared away for every drum here on the kit you'll be glad you did. Before you go, go ahead and smash that like button. It helps this video get out to everybody who needs it. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified whenever the next video comes out. And please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about how our snare sounds and maybe some tips that you have on how to make a snare sound better. And I'll see you next time.